Okay, in this week's Weather Extra, we're going to take stock of where we are in the winter so far. Take a look at us. A satellite image of California from space. This one specifically on November 19th. In case you didn't know, every day we get a high resolution photo of what we look like from the satellites and they're incredibly detailed. And if you like looking at stuff like this and if you're a geek about this kind of thing like I am, hopefully you'll enjoy this. We can pull out a lot of detail here. Look at the snowpack in the Sierra. We've only had one cycle of storms come through here. It was early in the month, but it did a really good job of laying down an early base for snow. We've heard a lot about the ski resorts, but of course, the main concern for the overwhelming majority of us is, what's this gonna do for the drought? How are we doing on water? That is Yosemite. You can actually see the details on it. That's Yosemite Valley right there. This is the valley of the Tuolumne River, which if you live in San Francisco, you really care about because that's where Hetch Hetchy is. That's the reservoir that supplies San Francisco with all its water. And that reservoir gets filled from the snowpack, which sits right in about here. That's the upper basin of the Tuolumne. In fact, Tuolumne Meadows, you ever been up there? That's where the majority of that comes from. We look dramatically different right now than we did one year ago. And if we just pull back for a slightly wider view, instead of looking at now, we're gonna go back to this point in the year for 2021. And two things look dramatically different. First of all, there was way less snow and the rest of the state was much greener. I mean, how dramatically different from one year to the next. No two winters are the same. That's last year. You can see what this year looks like. So the two things that stand out, we've got more snow lower down the mountain and we've got a much drier landscape. Last year, we had a huge atmospheric river come through in October. It broke records for rainfall and it got the landscape nice and green and damp and it wasn't as cold, so it didn't provide as much snow over as wide an area in the Sierra as we have so far at this point in November. If we wanna get specific about that snowpack rather than just looking at how pretty it is from space, if you wanna put some numbers on it, it's a little too early to try and do that, but we still can at least pull some preliminary numbers out. Remember we were looking at Yosemite, right? Let's come in for a closer look here. This is a map that shows you a visualization of what the water content in that snowpack looks like. The brighter the colors, the higher concentration of water actually being stored in it. And once again, we're looking at Yosemite. You can see Yosemite Valley there. There's Hetch Hetchy. And as we come in for a closer look, Tuolumne Meadows, which is kind of the upper basin for where that water's coming from, sits over here. And on this map, we don't have to just eyeball it. There are actually data points on here we can pull out that show us where the snowpack is now for this point in the year. And when we bring those out, there's one that sits actually right in Tuolumne Meadows. It's the one that says 13%. Let's come over and click on that. And when we do that, we get two numbers, and this is an important distinction, two numbers for a very good reason. One of them's really big. It says 122%. Let's click on that one for a second. That 122% might get you real excited, but don't let it. It's too early to say we're at 122% of snowpack for this point in the year. And that's what that number's trying to say. But when we do our snow surveys, the first one doesn't even happen until January 1st for a reason. It's too early to look at that number because early season snowfall can really skew the averages. So we're gonna wait till January 1st to try and put some numbers on that. But if you want a dose of reality, Let's go to the other number, because remember there were two numbers on there. If we go back, the other number was 13%. Let's click on that one. That one's telling you where we are in relation to average for where we should be by April 1st. So in other words, if this was all we got, and if none of this melted, we'd have 13% of an entire year's worth of snow. And that one doesn't matter either because we're so early in the season. Uh, if we don't get any major storms, we can lose a lot of this. And there's still a long way to go. But just a little perspective on where we are for snowpack in the Sierra. It looks really beautiful from space, but we're just getting started. And by the way, in terms of the snowpack that really does the lion's share of supplying California as a whole, it's not the Hetch Hetchy Reservoir. That's really small in the big picture. So what we look at is something called the Eight Station Index. This area up here, the Northern Sierra, that's really where we get the overwhelming majority of the water that supplies the state. And the eight station index is probably the most important reading to look at. And we can look at that later in the year, but just to look at where we are now, not necessarily for this year, because we're just getting started, 
but to come away with the perspective on what the last four years of drought have done to us in terms of the deficit for how much water we're getting in those reservoirs that are fed by the snowpack that falls within that eight station index in the Northern Sierra. This is a really helpful image and graphic. It was put together by Jan Knoll. He used to work for the National Weather Service here in the Bay Area. He's got a great website, Golden Gate Weather. This is off his Twitter account. He put this out last week. And what this shows you is how far behind we are. If you added up the last four years, the black dotted line shows you the accumulated precipitation we would have gotten if we'd done average. The blue line shows you what we've actually done over the last four years within that eight station index. And the cumulative total here, you know, we've missed out on quite a bit going back over the last four years. That says 60 inches in total spread out over the eight station index of water we missed out on. We're never getting back. We need to start making up for it. We're just getting started in this winter. We've started out okay in November, but we've got a long way to go. And we will update you on the progress of this throughout the course of this year. That's this week's Weather Extra. Paul Hagan will be in next week with another one.